I'm going to the grocery store to resupply. <laughs> Good morning. We are here in Dalton and we are just waiting for a shuttle to take us back to the trailhead and yeah it's gonna be about two and a half days to Bennington Vermont where my mom resides and I'm excited to get there okay dokie we are back on trail What a beautiful garden. The Fitch Who's House. Random care. I'm here at the trail place and there's some trail maintenance guys and we have a new section of the trail and I'll be the second person to hike it, which is cool. So I don't think it's updated and far out, but it's blazed. So it'll be cool. And then groceries is gonna be the third person to hike it. Pretty awesome. So the reason why they're going around that area is because there's a sensitive species, like a plant. I asked him what kind of species. He said they didn't tell him. So it's very sensitive. <laughs> so kind of cool to see when they are actually making the trail. It was kind of neat to see for sure. So I think the way it's marked is with those orange ties around the tree so no white blazes yet almost back on the uh, non rerouted part so the actual I mean this is the actual AT it's just looking look we're back on it right here Woohoo! back on trail and a white blaze right there Yes, I'll blue blaze to the Jeshar Cobble viewpoint to check it out. Hello. Wow. We are about to get into Cheshire, a town in Massachusetts. I think you walk through the town and I'm such a big fan of walking through town. I love it so much. That's why I'm so excited to be hiking the El Camino with my dad in the next few years, just because I get to see towns and cultures and another country, which is excellent. But anyway, so I'm excited to go through town. We've hiked, well, I don't know, Groceries is behind and I don't know where the girls are, but I hiked close to nine to 10 miles so far. We will only be hiking around 14 point something because we are going to go halfway up Mount Greylock, which is a 3000 footer. And then in the morning, we're going to um, ascend Mount Greylock. And supposedly one of Fox's friends 
will be bringing us some trail magic or trail love. I don't know. Trail magic is kind of like you don't expect it. So we know it's coming. So I don't know if I would call it trail magic, but it's definitely trail affection, trail love. I don't know. So that'll be lovely. And then tomorrow we get into Vermont. I mean, that's like amazing. I pretty much just walk to my mama. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, just passing by somebody's house. All right, then we'll go left. We just had some lunch here at this really cute place and a lady on a bike stopped and paid for our food which is really amazing her name is ruth so if she's watching thank you so much again that was really really nice and um sorry i feel like i always have food on my face but anyway so that was a different kind of trail magic it was super unexpected totally nice thanks again ruth that was awesome okay starting the ascent of mount greylock <laughs> Look, there's a cute little bench. Cute. Sitting on it. Yeah. Like 8.5 out of 10. Okay, hiked up one of the steeper parts from Mount Greylock. Not at top, obviously, since we're not gonna hike to the top until tomorrow, but that was not too bad. I'm about 2.1 miles from the shelter, but I have to check it out because it says that there's not that many tent sites and I am not a fan of shelter living, as I'm sure you guys figured out. Figured out? Yes. Um, so, have to see what I want to do then if there's not any enough tent sites. Also Cheeseball and Fox, they are just now starting to hike. Why you might ask is because Fox lost her yellow hat. I know. And I tripped. <laughs> um, so she lost her yellow hat and she was looking for it. I think she forgot it at like the restaurant we went to yesterday. And so she has it again. Her yellow hat is very important. And so she was able to find it and retrieve it. And it's around, I don't even know what time it is. I think 3.30 and they're starting to hike now. So I'm not sure if they will hike the 14 miles that we did today or if they'll camp somewhere and then catch up tomorrow. Well, how that's gonna work but there's so many factors always playing in right like me now going to the shelter seeing if there's even 10 sites and then continues to hike continue to hike and then them kind of trying to catch up so but everything will work out we always get back together so that's good the shelter sign boom now gonna check out if there's gonna be any tent sites for me and the groceries uh, and the girls I guess yeah the girls are not gonna get there to the shelter until 11 p.m. probably 10 11 so that's how it look mm -hmm. 